Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna share with you what I picked up during the Sephora spring bonus event. And I did share with you guys my wish list video. So I will link that up here and also down below if you didn't see that. So I just, this is what I purchased off of the wish list. I think there's actually, I think a couple items that were not on in my wish list video that I actually ended up ordering anyway. So I'm gonna share all those goodies with you today. If you watched my April favorites, my the last video that I post posted, then you guys know that I'm having shoulder surgery and I'll probably have already had sh shoulder surgery once this video is posted live. So I just wanted to let you guys know, again, if you did not see that video, I don't know what my uploading schedule will be like as, my, as I recover from that surgery. So just kind of bear with me and keep checking back. And one day soon, I will have another video posted once I'm a little bit recovered and filling up up to film a video <laughs> actually once I'm able to like yeah put on makeup and do my hair cuz I'm not sure I'm gonna be strapped down in the shoulder thing sling for a while <laughs> so anyway and you guys if you followed my channel for a while you might be surprised and utterly shocked <laughs> about how minimal and curated I was with my purchases it might be a boring haul to some of you but this is just what I purchased and funny story also is that I was only a beauty insider before this event and I thought at least I was a in what was it be beauty insider anybody can be a beauty insider and they you got 10% off so I only got 10% off which is one of the reasons why <laughs> it's somewhat minimal I mean I still spent like over a hundred dollars but you guys know how it is at Sephora and then I thought I, I was at least a very important beauty insider or a VIB I knew I wasn't a rouge, so I knew I wasn't going to get 20% off, but my goodness, I was only a beauty insider, which I feel so basic. I feel like I'm the only YouTube person in the beauty world that only got 10% off of their purchase. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm pretty sure I'm a very important a VIB now after I made this purchase, but we'll see. So first things first, let's start with this. I'm wearing this today. I tried to wear some of the goodies that I got on my face today. So I got the Charlotte Tilbury. This was on my wish list. The Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. I have mine in the shade Fair. So basically, or number one, this, and also side note, you know how they have those little expiration dates on there? This one is for 30 months. So I, I will definitely hit pan before 30 months. But this is just the most beautiful lightweight powder now i am wearing it today like i said but i'm also only wearing like, i don't have a full coverage foundation on just because i just i don't know i just didn't want to <laughs> that's the real that's the true story of it this is what i'm wearing i'm wearing the a cosmetics matte cc cream and then i just have a little dusting of this over top so and then i do have the under eye concealer which I think I need to apply more because I'm looking like my dark circles are poking through, which is another story I'll get to with another product that I have in this haul. Back to the powder. <laughs> I, so far, I've only used it once. I really love it. It's so, it's so stinking smooth. Like, it's like not even there, but it did set that because this is a little bit tacky, although it's supposed to be matte. I don't think it's a it's not, definitely not matte in my opinion it does have a little bit of kind of radiant um so this kind of did set it down a little bit it's still a little bit tacky underneath but then again i did have quite a bit of moisturizer on before i even went in with this which this is a cc cream it's kind of all in one basically what i'm trying to say is i really like this without getting it off on major tangents and this is the only combination i've used it with so far but it set it really nicely and it's so utterly undetectable i mean you can't even tell i'm wearing powder and sometimes you'll be able to tell like right around here like on my nose and stuff um it's just it's what i hoped it would be and more i mean everybody raves about this and i can now speak to why they rave about it it is just utterly perfection and like if you have dry skin but you need to set your foundation or your cc cream or whatever the heck you're using or if you just want a powder you know this is you have to check this out it's you know charlotte tilbury is kind of more luxury a little bit more expensive than i would have liked to pay but i did get my 10 percent off let's go ahead and stick with the charlotte tilbury theme the other charlotte tilbury product that i purchased 
was the Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher. So I had one of these on my wish list. I had the shade Pillow Talk, which is her newest shade, but I didn't get that because one of my friends that I wholeheartedly trust her makeup choices and recommendations, she said she got it and she just it wasn't wowed by the color that it was kind of just like a standard color so i'm like hmm so i got this shade instead and i thought it would be the perfect neutrally peachy blush and i'm wearing it today that's all i'm wearing i'm not wearing any bronzer i'm wearing the cc cream the powder and um a highlighter as well but this is basically on the cheeks this is the only color that i have so this is the shade called first love and i'm pretty sure i owned this one before and i sold it or got rid of it or decluttered it or something but it is just this the most beautiful nude so the idea if you're not familiar is that you can swirl your brush like all around and then go boop you can go like swirl it and then boop to get a little bit more of the pigment on there it's so beautiful so natural has like a slight luminosity to it but nothing crazy or anything like that and it's just a really beautiful blush i see myself wearing that like when i want to look good in person and not look like clown cheeks but still have a little bit of definition to the cheeks um and i see myself wearing that color when I want to have more definition to the cheeks <laughs> and I don't want to wear like a bronzer because sometimes bronzer is a pain in the butt. You know, you had to take it up into the hairline and then you got to really scrub it to get it off at night and you get your hair all wet when you're trying to get your bronzer off if you work it up into your hairline and it's just the whole thing. Do you guys feel me? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? So anyway, I think that first love color is going to be just the perfect soft nude peach blush. It's very flattering on the fair skin. Next, I have a repurchase. I'm almost done with the one that I'm using right now. It's by The Ordinary, the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. This stuff is amazing. This was like under $10 and I'm pretty sure at checkout it told me that the discount, my whopping 10% doesn't even apply to The Ordinary brand, which is fine. It's so inexpensive anyway. Um, so I just did repurchase one of those. And like I said, I'm almost out. I've been using almost the full jar of this. And it's just, I just love it. I mean, you cannot beat the price. And honestly, during the weekdays sometimes, when I'm being a stay-at-home mom, when I'm clocking in and clocking out <laughs> at that job, um, it's the weekend right now. I always film on the weekend. So if you didn't know, my husband is with my with my girls. Anyway, what was I saying? So sometimes I will take a shower and I will just use my Pixie, their, what is it, their Glow Tonic. I'll just wipe that after I shower and that gives a little bit of hydration. It also exfoliates just a little bit. I'll link that below. I'll put a picture of it here too in case you're wondering what it is. It's amazing. And then I will go in with my rose hip seed oil and just put that all over my face. And then I will go in with like a mineral, a mineral sunscreen just to make sure I have sunscreen on or I'll go in with something like this. But most of the time I just don't even moisturize or put eye cream on or anything like that or a serum. I'll just do the Pixi Glow Tonic and just slather this all over. I'll get it up under my eyes and pat it in like it is. I'll pretend like it's an eye cream and apply it like that. I swear it's good for my lashes. And then I'll go in with the sunscreen. Because obviously this does not have sunscreen. It's very important. So I just use this literally on a daily basis. And my skin has just reacted really well to it. And I swear it makes... It has made a difference in my skin and I just love it. So definitely if you need a facial oil and you don't want to spend more than 10 bucks, definitely check that one out. Next up, I have a concealer by Bare Minerals. This is the Bare Pro 16 hour full coverage concealer. And this is a repurchase for me. I actually have a different shade, but I decided to pick this up in the shade Fair Cool 01. And right now I will show you the shade that I have. I will compare them for you. This is the other one I have. I have it in my like, this is my, well this is by It, it Cosmetics, a little bag in case you're wondering. Um, it came with a brush trio, which I talked about in a video. I'll link below if it's still available. I love that brush trio, <laughs> getting so off topic. But this is like my little mommy go bag for makeup. Just has like stuff, like I'll go to physical therapy and I will take this with and put on my makeup in the car after while I got the babysitter here helping me out. So <laughs> it's just like mom basic 
basic products but anyway I have my other concealer in there and the bare minerals pro which is just a stick concealer which I don't even think I told you what it is so it just rolls up like that is a stick concealer this is the new one that I got so this is in the shade 01 cool let me wipe off these swatches and then I will swatch it for you. So there it is swatch. I will show it side by side with the other one that I have. This is the shade Fair Light Neutral 03. And you can see that I've used a good chunk of it. I still have a lot left, but I just love this for... I love this concealer. It is really great for my under eye dark circles, but it blends in with the finger. You can literally stripe it on and just slap it on and pat it in with the, with the warmth of your fingers. And that's what I look for in like my everyday type makeup look. So anyway, this was the 03 shade. And this is the new one that I got, the 01 shade. So there's a huge difference in the colors because I thought this one might be a little too dark. Um, it it's not too It's not too dark, but it's not like my perfect match. So I thought that that 01 would be a good one. So anyway, I got this as a backup and I I'm actually glad to have two of these because I like to keep one in my mommy go bag which is usually stays downstairs and then it'll be nice to have one up here at my vanity. And the next product I have to share with you is a repurchase from years ago, the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for under eyes. This was on my wish list as well. It just comes in a little jar. I put it back in the box. I don't know why because I did use it today. But it looks like that. And I kept my sticker on there so I can kind of control how much comes out. But I did use this today. And sometimes I have dry skin. Hello, welcome to my channel. <laughs> if you don't know, I have, I have dry skin. My under eyes are getting super creepy and aged. Um, so I have to be really careful with what I use under there. And I have a really hard time with setting it. I need to set so my mascara doesn't run, my Laura Lash Line mascara doesn't run and make it look like my dark circles are there. But also most powders just accentuate the crepiness and the dryness so much. And this is even when I hydrate with the most intense hydrators, it's just crepey. I don't know, I guess dry is not the word, but it's just crepey. I think it's just from age, I'm 33 and a half. And it's just not getting any younger under there. So I got this, hoping that it will work with setting it. Today I did use it with a damp, I set it with a damp. I use this like this. I set my concealer with that. And I have touched up since then. So, I mean, I remember loving it and it is super finely milled and kind of softening. So, yeah, I mean, this is what I'm gonna use to set my under eye concealer when I'm wearing more of a full face of makeup. When I do use the Bare Minerals Pro Stick Concealer that I just showed you, I don't need to set this, um, but I don't always wear lower lash line mascara on those like mommy minimal makeup days. So, I don't know. I think this is good. I, I don't think there's anything better out there. If there is anything comparable, better, uh, more affordable for crepey under eyes to set your concealer, please let a sister know down below. <laughs> Let me know. All right, so that is everything. Those are all like the five or six products only that I purchased that still was a little bit up there in price because I did purchase some Charlotte Tilbury and that just adds up. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, you'll have to share with me what you guys picked up from the event. Did you guys go crazy? Did you splurge on anything good? Let me know because this will not be my last Sephora haul. <laughs> So yes, thank you guys as always for watching and I hope to be back sooner than later with my next video after my surgery. So thank you guys so much for watching again. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye.